A brand new statue at the Poland Spring Resort honors one of history's most celebrated sled dogs. It was nearly a century ago that a dog named Togo actually helped save a city in Alaska. In this week's hometown Maine, Steve Minnick has the story behind the Maine connection. Poland Springs was his uh, place of retirement um, and uh, we need to honor this dog. Cindy Robbins. I'm very proud. Spearheaded the effort to honor this dog, Togo, with a life-sized, life-like bronze statue. You could imagine that dog being alive. You like this because of the accuracy. I do. Owner of the historic Poland Spring Resort, Togo's life story as a sled dog is one that has fascinated Cindy for some 40 years. Oh, rough. There we go. In fact, her own dog, Sawyer, she touts as a direct descendant. Time Magazine calls him the most heroic animal of all time. That heroism dates back to the winter of 1925, the remote city of Nome, Alaska, in the midst of a diphtheria outbreak. They were snowbound, a uh, blizzard was coming, children were dying, and the only way to get to the serum was by dog sled. In what became known as the Great Race of Mercy, 20 teams of sled dogs combined to mush nearly 700 miles to deliver the life-saving serum. Even at 12 years old, Togo led his relay team the greatest distance, much of it over the most rugged leg of the trail. 264 miles through blizzard conditions over hills and mountains, and he, he was successful in going the farthest. Elizabeth. Ricker was also a musher. Today, a small museum inside the Poland Springs Main State Building commemorates Togo's epic feat, as well as his later years living in Maine. Within two years of that renowned Mercy Run, Togo was brought to Maine, his owner partnering with Poland Springs Elizabeth Ricker to open a nearby kennel. Togo lived the rest of his life right here at Poland Springs. Uh, Elizabeth adopted him. Togo lived just another four years. In thankful acceptance of a piece of raw salmon for my supper. Since then, books have been written, movies made about his life. But even that brief connection to Maine, Cindy believes is worthy of commissioning this statue. You know, this dog is credited for saving a town, 10,000 plus people. And that, she says, even all these decades later, is a story that still needs to be told. This statue, she hopes, might help to ensure it does. Togo is the unsung hero of a generation. I want people to come away with wanting to know more, wanting to know the rest of the story. And that was Steve Minnick with that report. And the statue is located right outside the state of Maine building at Poland Springs. The sculptor is also an artist from Maine. All the money to build it was raised through private donations.